Hello, this is Sandra Sheffy. This week, we're going to be revisiting my interview with Stockard Channing, whom I interviewed just as Greece was being released and was an amazing hit. I was not encouraged to do this interview. The interview was done as part of the writing I was doing for the Hearst newspapers, uh, Sunday Woman, and my then editor told me that he didn't want me to do the interview, uh, that he thought Stockard Channing was a cow, and that uh, she would not do very many films, that Greece was probably a one-hit wonder for her. Nonetheless, I persisted, and I did the story, and it ran, and I think of the number of newspapers, quite a number picked up uh, the story. I also knew Alan Carr, who produced, I think, the play, but certainly the film, and as Stockard says in the interview, a tender, loving care was visited upon this a film, which is why uh, it is such an enormous, iconic hit. As someone named Sand- Sandra or Sandy, known as Sandy, I, I find the film quite, uh, quite metaphoric in a strange way because having known Carr, I knew Carr, Alan, uh, when he was managing Cass Elliot back in the mid-60s. And my own saga, in many ways, is a corollary uh, to the uh, plot of the film. I had come out to Los Angeles. I was going to be married. So I find the whole scenario quite an amusing one. Anyway, getting back to Stockard Channing, I hope you enjoy the interview. How, what was the feeling when you were making this, the thing? I mean, did, um, it, did everyone think it was I felt it was, it was going to be very successful because it's funny. Um, uh, I, films that I've worked on, I sometimes compare to children. Are like you know because they like they the first day of rehearsals like when they're little then they grow yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, I was talking to somebody about this on the set I was the cameraman camera operator or something and we um, he said yeah I and mean, it was like having you know playing with that image and saying this film was like this and this film was like that and if ever there was the classic uh, uh, Jewish prince of all time who had every advantage was pampered from the day one, nothing but the best, it was Greece, you know? I mean, it, nothing but the best, um, every detail was supervised by Alan, you know what I mean? I've been in other pictures uh, where, it, you know, which weren't successful, um, which was truly, you know, the, the bastard child of all time uh, by the studio, you know? And this was not like this. This picture was uh, handled with tender loving care by everybody involved in it and fussed over. Um, I'm talking about the... Uh, you know, administrator, the producer, the, the choreographer, so whatever. it came off of a very successful Broadway Yeah, play. it did that. Yeah. But, but um, nonetheless, none of the Yeah, there was also a lot of, it. it took years to get it on. I mean, Alan, I think, struggled for a number of years. A lot of people didn't want to do it, you know. But when he did, uh, actually, the picture was made for $6.5 million, which is extraordinary. You yes, consider it it's a and musical, the size of the cast, how many weeks it took. Absolutely, yeah. And, and it, it, you it know, could bring the musicals back. Well, it'd be <laughs> nice. It, it was fun. Nice, it's it? fun to make yeah, music. Yeah, I saw that film about 12 times. I mean, I was on a cruise ship, so I was forced to for a certain amount of times, but I thought it was just a, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, I, I think it's a very pleasant experience. Absolutely. Very pleasant. Yeah, very excellent. Yeah. Did you, uh, did Alan, did you know Alan for a while uh, before yes. prior to this? Yes, How we had known each other. I know. That well he had been uh, very helpful to me, you know, and, uh, um, you know, we were quite close at the time. As a matter of fact, the irony was that we were so close that he never thought of me for the part because I'm personally not very much like that. And uh, it was literally, I think the deal was made a thir- the Thursday and we started rehearsal on Monday. He had not been able to cast the part for various reasons and it was practically the poem hitting the forehead. It was like, well, why didn't I think of it, yeah. you know? Well, how did, I mean, did, um, how would you know now? Just as a pal or had you... Uh, he had helped me with my career. He had been an advisor to me in my career, say for a year or so before. Um, my husband had known him uh, years before that. I see. Unofficially, that he wasn't your manager. Uh, unofficially, I'd Unoff- say. Oh, you know, I mean, it's sort of... Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing is a very gray area because, um, you know, and like, uh, there's so many different ways of being a manager. An agent is an agent is an agent. But um, he was, um, we had th- talked about that and sort of ended But I mean, that. You, you had no written agreement. No, 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 no nothing like that. Percentage. Nothing so like that. He, so just was sort of he had been kind enough to take a, a really very deep yeah. interest in my career, um, which I always appreciated. But I, we, we both laughed about this because... Yeah. Uh, who had he thought of? I mean, was he, who was... Uh, um, 
I don't think it's any secret he had mentioned this. Uh, Lucy Arnaz, uh, somebody that he had uh, had been very close to, uh, to the part, but for various reasons she had another commitment. That some, I mean, it was one of those things where there, it wasn't gelling, put it that way.